Hey everybody, good morning YouTube and Twitch and FC2. Greetings from Brooklyn, New York. Hey there, Kenneth and Justin Early, 1986. Um, so today I have a little drum lesson for you guys. I actually was just going to make a video about this, but then I was like, I might as well just do this live because why not? <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Um, first off, in the chat, I'm going to post the written version of the lesson that I put up here. And so that's there. Uh, and once I once the video goes like, if you're watching this in the future, it'll be down in the description too. I'll post, I'll edit it, edit the description down there and put the link down there. Um, and uh, <coughs> thanks to uh, my student Brian Rader, uh, who actually inspired this video here because I was kind of going over some of this stuff with him on our lesson yesterday. And uh, and then I was like, well, I might as well just make you know turn this into a public lesson because it seems like a pretty good one to do. And that is uh, how to get started with double bass. Well, I've already done kind of a how to get started video, but this one's a little more specific. Uh, basically, it's 16th note exercises, and you can see this much better if you click on that link. Um, and what I put together here is a few... Uh, hey, Brian, how's it going? A few different variations of the 16th note groove on double bass drum, and a few different ways that you can play it to kind of strengthen your feet and just get uh, a little bit better at double kick. So, uh, this is like, you know, if you're an experienced, you know, metal double bass drum player, this lesson probably isn't for you. But if you're, you know, just starting out and uh, maybe intermediate uh, level, this lesson is probably for you. So, uh, the first lesson here that I'm going to talk about is basically just your basic 16th note groove on the kick drum. So, just one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E. And a four e and a. And what we're going to do is we're going to play quarter notes on our ride cymbal. Let me switch the view here so you guys can see this a little better. So quarter notes on our ride cymbal. One, two, three, four. And we're going to play the snare drum on two and four. Three, four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, so right there, what I did is I started with my left foot. And with these exercises, I suggest you do both. You start, it doesn't matter which one you start with, but <clears throat> practice starting leading with your left and leading with your right. So now I'm going to lead with the right. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay? All right, so that's the basic thing. Just straight up 16th notes the whole way through. And uh, Justin Early, can you do paradiddle? Yes, I can, but that's not what this lesson is about. So we're going to continue with the lesson. <laughs> I, I have other, there's, you check out my rudiments videos where I talk about paradiddles. Uh, they're on the channel somewhere. Um, okay, so basically uh, lesson number two on here. What we're going to start doing is we're still going to be doing uh, sex, like little bits of the 16th note. We're just leaving out the rest. So what I mean by that is we're going to start off on the one E and a, and then we're going to leave out everything else. So it's going to go one E and a, whoops, sorry, one E and a, one E and a, two, three, four, one E and a, two, three, four. One E and a, two, three, now, if we speed that up, one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, right? Now I'll lead with the right. Oops. Switch my view here a little bit. Try the overhead view. Yeah, you can see my kick there, so. Kind of alternating. There's left. Here's right. Oops. When I talk and try to play it, sometimes I mess up. Okay, so that's exercise number two. Exercise number three is basically the same thing, except now instead of playing on the one e anda, we're going to play it on the three e anda. So it's going to go like this: one, two, three, and a four. One, two, three, and a four. One. One, two, three, and a four. One, two, three, and a four. Let's slow it down. One, two, three, and a four. One, two, three, and a four. One, two, three, and a four. 
Okay. So that is exercise number three. It's just on the three E and. All right. So maybe you're starting to recognize a pattern here. <clears throat> Next, now this one can be challenging uh, in, in the beginning because it's kind of putting it in a spot where maybe you're not used to putting. And so now we're going to put, we're going to play the the grouping of sixteenth note or the beat of sixteenth notes on the two. So it's going to go one two and a three four one two and a three four. And again, alternating between leading with my right and leading with my left. Uh, you don't have to flip back and forth but like that, but, you know, do both. It's really helpful <clears throat> when learning double bass to get used to leading with both foot, both feet. Uh, because there's going to be times where you're going to want to lead with the left and times you're going to want to lead with the right. So practice both. All right, so now, similarly to the previous exercise, the next one is going to be on the 4 E and so one, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, four, and. Okay, and hey, Jake, how you doing? Um, got a notification on my watch, too, from eBay. <laughs> all right, so where are we? Okay, so now we've got through all the single beat. And what I mean by single beat is the, the 16th notes are just taking up the span of one beat. As in, we're going either one eanda, three eanda, two eanda, or four eanda. And the reason why I started with one eanda then went to three eanda, because those two have a similar feel. And what I mean by that is we have one e and a two, three, four, and then one e and a two, three e and a four. So they have a similar uh, type of feel to them. It's when you put the the sixteenth notes on the downbeat on the two and four is where it becomes a little you know tricky for some people. So we have one, two e and a three, four, one, two e and a three, four, and then likewise with the four. So one, two, three. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to do two, two beats of 16th notes. So we're going to do on the one eanda and the four eanda. And this one I think actually sounds really cool. So it's going to go like this. Try that right hand, right footed. For me, I when I do stuff like that, I naturally want to lead with my left foot. Uh, it's a little easier for me that way. Okay. All right. So now we're going to put uh, two beats of 16th notes, but now we're going to do them on the one eanda and the three eanda. So this one's going to sound like this. One eanda, two, three eanda, four. 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 Now it's right footed. Left foot, right, left, right. Anyway, you get the idea. 
Okay, so one more on here, and probably the most challenging of all of them, is to do the 2 e anda and the 4 e anda. So that's going to sound like this. 1, 2 e anda, 3, 4 e anda. 1, 2 e anda, 3, 4 e anda. 1, 2 e anda. And again, switching back and forth between right, leading with my right or leading with my left. Try to slow it down a little bit, sorry. And that's pretty much it. And uh, like I said, if you want to download this, it is on the link over there in the chat. Or if you're watching this in the future, uh, there's a link down below in the description. And uh, it's everything that I just played through right here. So check that out. If you're interested in taking drum lessons from me online, you may do so. Um, I've got a few slots open uh, on Fridays and maybe one open on Thursdays. I'm not sure yet. Uh, might have a student leaving on Thursdays. Uh, but if you're interested, uh, message me on uh, Instagram. That's the best place. Uh, just demonic underscore sweaters. And uh, I'll give you the details of the list lessons there. But basically, they look just like this. Um, we just do them through Google Duo. And it's one-on-one. -on -one, and it's high-quality sound and video. I can switch cameras and all this stuff like I can here. Basically, everything's exactly the same. Which is pretty nice. Um, so anyway, anybody have any questions or anything out there? Uh, before I go, I can't stay on the stream too long today because I actually have some students coming up here pretty soon. But if you have any questions about that, um, what's really cool, though, is like once you get all this stuff, then you can start kind of improvising and, you know, uh, you know, throwing in those 16th notes in various spots, uh, which sounds pretty cool. You know, you don't have to keep them all the same all the time. So we can do like... Oops. So at the end there, I basically just started, uh, instead of just putting the snare on two and four, I was just putting it on all four beats with the ride. So that's another thing you could do. You can do like, you know, to give it more of a, you know, driving forward type feel. And you can even break up the 16th notes with that uh, pattern as well. So you can go one, two, three, four. That type of thing. I mean, there's endless options of things you can do, obviously. Um, but I think these exercises should get you started uh, doing, you know, some basic uh, double bass drum techniques. And like I said, it's really important just to practice doing both leading with the right foot and the left foot because that gives you the greatest flexibility in the future uh, with things you might want to learn. So anyway... Uh, Brian says, thanks for doing this, Justin. We'll reinforce my learnings this week. Very cool. Yeah, glad to help. I emailed you the lesson to uh, Brian earlier today. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, I'll see you guys really soon. See you Tuesday. Uh, the next stream is live. Uh, live stream is Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. And doing uh, more songs. Oh, and I should mention, <laughs> too, while I'm here, uh, you can download the Drumless Library, which has like 35 songs on it at this point you can play along to and uh, I play through various you know songs from that drumless library every Tuesday at 1 30 p.m. on this channel so anyway thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you guys really soon have a great day